this is Nikki in Niagara coming to you from Niagara Falls, Canada. Today we're going to take a look at my my uh, June haul. So this time I got, only got a couple of supplies and a lot of books. So probably about the same amount of books as usual, but not the supplies. So the first thing I got myself was some, oh we need to put the, I need to put this here so that my camera knows to focus. So the first thing that I got was um, some Bambino crayons. Now these are available for sale on Canada's, uh, Amazon Canada with a 30 some dollars Canadian. And uh, when I, I went to the States and with the shipping and everything, they're 20 something uh, ends up being just a little bit, few dollars cheaper than the 31 Canadian. <laughs> so I bought it from .com because I wanted to find out what these crayons are like. And I've only just given them a slight little test, but they look like they are amazing. They, they aren't like crayons at all. If you're unsure whether to get these or not, I'll, I'll be able to give you, I'll tell you more about them when I do use them on a picture. But, um, yeah, first impressions is that they're not like crayons at all. That so much unlike crayons that it's weird to call them crayons. <laughs> so there's that. And then we just have the supplies that I got in my in my uh, upcrate boxes. Have um, a dry media sketch pad, a whole bunch of Micron pens, small sizes, and a black. Cool, dark cool gray and light cool gray, an eraser, pencil, and a ruler. That wasn't my favorite box. And then we got uh, Windsor & Newton ink in Viridian, a water, water brush made by Upcrate themselves, which I just absolutely love, a uh, Leonard 100 round, zero round brush. And that's some metallic paints from Scrim. These are just dot cards, but that's what they look like. There's a couple of flat colors and the other ones are metallic. Let's put that back in there. Got two Van Gogh paints and some uh, water watercolor paper. <laughs> so yeah, I'm just gonna put it all back in the one box and then put it all away. So Just a couple of other things. So I got the green set of acrylic paint pens from from uh, Thule Art. I'm collecting uh, these. So this month it was green. And to go along with those, I got the green set of Art X markers. So I'm collecting these as well. I'm going to going to be buying these instead of buying a whole set of you know 100 and whatever I'm going to just buy the sets of each color and then that way it'll be less expensive output as we go along with the markers so that's it that's all I got for supplies the rest of everything here is books so whenever a creative haven book I want is on sale I pick it up so for on sale for me in, in Canada, it, that usually they're eight dollars even. So if they're six dollars something or less, is when I buy them on sale. So I got Nature Fractals by Mary and Javier Agrido. These are kind of interesting. I guess they go like that, don't they? That's a fractal. Take a shape and go out with it. Yeah. So those will be interesting to color. Mm. 
Mosaics Color by Number Volume 4 Masterpieces by Cactus Girl and Jennifer Rawling. Um, so these are paint masterpieces. There's this one. They really shouldn't have put this one on the cover because it looks so pixelated and you don't see how great their pictures look. But this is what you get. The grid and the picture on here that you're going to be doing. Mystery Mosaic Color by Number Colorful Life by Sunny Publishing, and I just absolutely adore their books. Um, there's construction going on. There's construction going on in my area every summer, so sorry um, for the background noise, but I don't have any choice. I'd never get any filming done if I waited till it was over, and it'd be night and dark light. So, yes, once again, this one is Sunny Publishing. So beautiful pictures, kind of like random, maybe landscape, because it just calls it colorful life. Circulism by Eclipse. This one is the insect mandala, so we get mandalas made up of insects. This is going to be beautiful. That's on the special paper. Jennifer Muller came out with a Zen Doodle book that is quite different than her usual stuff, so I decided to give this one a go. I don't usually buy the colorscapes because the colorscapes are usually a, a mashup of pictures from the other, the just regular coloring books, but this one isn't. This one is original material in here, so I just have to give this one a go. It's much less Zen Doodly than, than a Zen Doodle book is. So hopefully this is the new direction that they're going with their books so that they can keep up with the, with the uh, trend and not be lost in Zenduda land. Kokowaiyo, of course, comes out with books every month. We have Kawaii Baby Creatures, and this one is just absolutely adorable. Oh, and by creatures, they're just they're made up animals here. We have a monkey with a fish tail. Never noticed that before. Yeah, these are like mashups of different animals. Put put them together. Huh. Cute. Another circulism book. This one is called North, and I believe this just has animals from the north in it. But I don't know. There's a few in here that I can tell that they're that 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 they are northern animals, but hmm, don't know. Gonna be gorgeous anyways, their books always are. <clears throat> um Alice Mills Publishing is starting to put their old all their old books into mosaic into mosaic uh format. So I picked up those. There's actually three of them, but here's two, Christmas Delights. Um, I wouldn't normally pick up a Christmas book in in the summertime, but I just want to get there because they're transferring all their books over. Same goes with Halloween. These were their first books that they did. I guess they're going to do them in order of when they published them. Coloring Book Cafe came out with a great one this month. So I don't buy a lot of their books, but here we are, Fairy Homes. These are really cute. Colored Caramel has a couple here. We have Cute Chibi Girls and Animals. And we have Cute and Creepy Chibi Girls. Pastel Goth Chibi Girls. So don't usually get the Pastel Goth books, but these have chibis on every page, so that makes it different. Here's the other Alice Mills publishing book, Adorable Nature. Got a lot of color by number books this month. Feels like I did anyways. 
Joshua Dunbar has a new book out. Totally, totally outrageous 80s new wave adult coloring book. So I grew up in the 80s, or my teen years were in the 80s. So yes, I'm definitely going to pick this up. So this is all line art, but in the back, there are some of them have been, oh, those are the bonus pictures. Some of them have been turned into um, grayscale. I wish he'd done the whole book in grayscale to tell you the truth. <laughs> Deborah Muller had a new book out this month, so that means I get to buy an old one. So for the old one, I bought Gothic Angels. And I just love her old style, I have to tell you. Getting her old books like this is making me nostalgic for the way she used to do her pictures. They were so less busy than they are now. Yeah, I really like that one. It's adorable. Hokawaiyo again. We have Galaxy Queen. We have, this is a space. I love that. These are just gorgeous pictures of women, really. Anna Carlson's new book is called The City, The City in the Stars, I believe. Um, Tales from the City in the Stars, I believe is the title. So this is very steampunk. You've got pictures that aren't, and then you have steampunky pictures like this. Why am I all so crooked? There we go. Yeah, definitely. Oh wow, this has that new book smell. Mmm. Sun Life Drawing came out with a remake of a Kira Shoshneva book, Summer, Color by Numbers. Sherry Baldy came out with a new book, so I added in one of her old books, uh, Ella Bella Buttons and Bows. This is adorable. And she's got duplicates. Every other page is a duplicate. This is her new one. She doesn't do duplicates anymore. This It's uh, Ms. McDoodles with her pink poodle. Now I don't usually get, usually I would not get this book because of the title of it, but look at these two cuties. These. <laughs> Not very often I think dogs are cute, but this little boy and girl puppy that are in each one of these pictures, they're just absolutely adorable. And I don't mind the, the poodle because it can be colored pink. Dogs just don't look that great when they're colored fancy colors unless they're puppies and a French poodle. This is Deborah Muller's new book. A Midsummer Dream. So it's very kind of like a fairy forest type of book. I kind of feel like I'm going fast, but I might be. That's because the air conditioning isn't on and I'm starting to I'm starting to sweat. <laughs> I'm getting hot. So we have Mystery Mosaics Color by Number Cute Animals Part 2 and this is by Cactus Girl Jennifer Rawling. So not much to see. Let's see the back will show us some sample pictures here. Oh they're just so adorable and really well done with the shading in them. Um, I got, I ordered, they came out with a new book called Delightful Color by Numbers. Do not get it. It's the, honestly, it's this big. It's, it's a, it's a rectangle, but it is a tiny, teeny, weeny little thing. Nowhere in the description does it say that it's tiny. So unless you want a teeny, weeny little travel book, 
do not get delightful color by numbers. So um, instead of, it's the same price as what they usually are. Um, so instead of um, just returning it, I did an exchange. So I got this old one that I didn't have already called Flowers Color by Numbers. Ashette with their coloriage books came out with something a little bit different. This is Tableau de Maitre, which is um, not too sure exactly what it is. I think it, I think it stands for Art Gallery. Is my guess. But this is your normal quest book where you've got pages that are done in triangles, hexagons, squares, circles. And you have a palette on the side and answers in the back. We're going to take a look. Close your eyes if you don't want to see. And there we go. There's a lot in here. There's more than there is in a quest book. Let's see. I'll tell you how many there are because they're numbered. Oh, if I can turn the page. There are 30. Is that more? I don't know, but it uses the great paper that uh, Ashette always uses. Belba came out with a new mosaic book, Amazing Birds. They've also changed their palette. So this is their first book featuring the new palette. Um, it's not seriously different, but uh, a bit, a bit. Jennifer Rawling came out with a second 1000 Dots book. I'm not sure if the first one is in here too. So this one is Cute Things, and these are just gorgeous when they're colored. They're not a mystery, which, which is okay, because I wouldn't want to color in a whole page of circles like this. It's tiny circles like that. Oh, it's getting hot. Cocoyo, Adorable Things, and this is, as it says, Adorable. If you like your cute things, this is definitely a book to add to your collection. More Kokowayo. We have cute ghosts. And now how cute can that be? Oh, this is adorable. This is going to be so much fun to color. You know, I just don't get the time to color my Kokowayo books. I'm so busy with my 10 finished books that they're just, it's taken up all of my time this month. I mean this year. Kawaii Astro Girl. I've seen a lot of pictures of this one around, so this must have been a popular book for them. Here in Canada, we're fairly up to date with Coloring Heaven. Got the Fledgling Fairies schedule, uh, book in June. This is my only book by Christine Caron. I have a couple of her other Coloring Heaven magazines have a few of her pictures here and there, but I've never actually colored anything by her. So we got both line art and grayscale in there. Book Outlet had this, so I decided to pick it up. Dark Art a Horror Coloring Book by Francois Gautier. bit intricate but then so is um what's his face you know who I mean <laughs> Alan Robert there we go thick book that Another Alice Mills books. This one is an original this time. Magical Forest Folk. This is the color by number edition. Which is what I buy of these now that they do mosaics. Then Sunny Publishing. Mystery Mosaic color by number. 3x3 three three millimeters. Creepy kawaii. So this is what their new new um, covers look like. They've got multiple, three images or I think some of them have four but they still show you some pictures on the back. This is again by Sunny Publishing. We have kawaii characters. I'll show you the back. Get all the pictures. Mm -hmm. 
Hachette Coloriage Mystère. Oh, this one is a Cercle Magique. The Chat, which is cats, circles. So we've got both the big circles and the little circles in here. So I've got a lot of both. So if you don't like the little circles, then you're probably not going to like doing these. The problem with their circles is, is that they fill in the space in between them. Makes the picture look better, but mm, doesn't make them all that fun to color, <laughs> I have to say. Not my favorite, but I have colored them and I will continue. So this month, to focus on, I was focusing on Circulism by Eclipse. So I got all of the books that they published that I didn't have that I wanted this month. So I've completed my collection of circulism books. When I buy when I buy more than one circulism book, I get standard paper. If I'm just buying one, I get the specialty paper. So these are all on standard paper. And I have Wildflower. This one is a square, obviously. We have a stroll with nature. Motif. Birds of the world. See? This is funny. It's going square, rectangle, square, rectangle. Illigo. I don't know what that means. Just take a small stack because we're getting to the bottom. So Sonia Ray had a couple of new books. I buy her books no matter what the theme is because I just love coloring in squares. So we have skateboarding. These are what your pictures look like at the back. And we have pregnancy. Pictures at the back. Now these are thinner. This is definitely thinner than her book. Oh, they're, they're not doing gray lines anymore. That's what's happening for their new books. No more gray lines. Coco Wild came out with Tiny World Volume 2. And this is a thick book. Also Mushroom Volume 3. So this one has a lot of bones in it. Bones and insects, so it's kind of a creepy one. Let me grab the last pile in here so I don't have to keep reaching down. Oh, not good for my back. So this is the last stack right here. So I got a Les Petits Carrés from Art Therapy, and it's called Wax, and I have no idea why it's called Wax. Obviously it has to do with this pattern style, so, I don't know. It's a repeated motif, is what it is. So, I got that. That was pre-order. Hidden Wonders of Atlantis by Fausto Bianchi. So this is a book a lot like uh, miss, uh, mythographic books by the same publisher. The paper is nowhere near as nice, though, I'm going to have to say. The book doesn't feel as nice. It's smaller. For a start, it's about an 8 by 8 square. Maybe the paper is the same. Yeah, I think it is the same. It's just because it's smaller, it doesn't feel so substantial. But the pictures are just absolutely gorgeous in it. So this one was on sale. Floral Tattoo Designs, Creative Haven. I never used to buy tattoo books, but they're a fun, quick thing to color. This one was also on sale, Alice in Wonderland Designs by Marty Noble. Sonia Ray, Mystery, oh, Mystery. So she does both 
um, pixel uh, mosaic books and uh, mystery colors books. So this one is winter mystery colors. They're, the pictures aren't exactly mysteries, but they uh, you color them in like them. Demita Victoria had 100 easy summer pictures, and these are really nice, nice bold lines. And that's all, folks. That is everything that I got, mostly books. As you can see, this is the first time I've had a haul video under under half an hour. Um, <laughs> so, yeah, uh, I hope you enjoyed taking a look at what I have. I got to go put the air conditioning on before I absolutely melt. So, until next time, bye-bye. <laughs>